What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Drama Pack video. I'm your host Charisma. Let's get right into the video. So, uh, basically the first topic of this video is coming from the CSGO community. As you guys know, or maybe not know, uh, the Road to Vegas Challenge uh, event was this just past day. Um, it was on the 7th of, De or 7th of January. I keep saying December. It was 7th of January and basically Optics, uh, Optics CSGO team, the new, newly picked up CSGO team, uh, they won the event and... Uh, they got thirty-five thousand dollars for that, and basically what happened was on top of that, on top of the the newly picked up Optic team winning the event, uh, which is pretty spectacular. You know, they were just picked up, and I know they were, you know, former team that was already like established and well played together, but uh, it's pretty nice to see uh, a green wall win in the CS:GO community like as off the break. But on top of that, uh, the esports analysis over there, uh, known as Thorn. Threw some shots at Shaq, and basically this is what happened. I'm a little, here's a little clip of what happened. To go over to the guys who have uh, kind of called that action, and, and really our counterparts on the in the E League uh, would be James Bardolph and Richard Lewis and Duncan Thorin Shields. Fellas, what it go with it? How'd it go today? Thanks, Ernie. So yes, we had a face-off between the Polish team and a team from North America who've recently been signed to one of the uh, biggest brands within esports here in North America. Richard, what did you make of the action? Oh, it was a, a, a great game. We had uh, the first map, you know, it was uh, back and forth. Uh, it was really close. We felt the Polish guys could have won it. On to an opportunity to win a share of $1.2 million in the E-League the first season in 2016. So, Richard, do you have any final thoughts? I just think it's going to be awesome, you know, I know that uh, our colleagues over there on the, uh, on the other desk, the NBA desk, they're kind of a little bit perplexed about what's happening, but esports is coming up in a big way. It's going to be a huge year, $2.4 million up for grabs. It's only going to get bigger uh, with organizations like Turner involved. Yeah, I mean, I just want to stress in this game, even though it was a 2-0, it wasn't just a complete whitewash. In the first game, the lounge guys did turn up, they had a really great game. Problem for them is Shazam. He turned up. And I'm not talking about Kazam, that terrible movie that Shaq made in the 90s. I tell you what, <laughs> it was a terrible movie for the lounge guys. So they didn't want to see any part of that. What do you think of that? Takes Andy? a lot of steel to say that, brother. I'll, I'll tell you, let's see this, Thorn. How quickly can you run? Because Shaq yeah. can cover some ground <laughs> over here, too. Faster he, than uh, Shaq, you know, I hope. He can get from this set to that set. Faster than he used to go up and you know down what? the court, mate. That was pretty funny, defense. David Buckham. <laughs> no. Hey, you know what? I met those guys earlier. They're very nice oh, guys. Oh, oh, oh. And Tom, Tom, I wouldn't Willard. say we're perplexed oh, about hard. it. We're very curious about it, and yeah. I and appreciate the, uh, the insight today. Since you guys think it's a sport, we'll challenge you guys in a couple weeks. Any game you want, you come to any game. And I'll make you eat those words, buddy, because it's getting better. Okay. <laughs> it's getting better. We challenge you three. Okay. You what about it? weight loss? Should you we do that? <laughs> That's cool. oh. What about muscles? Oh. <laughs> what about boxing when I come over there and punch you? <laughs> this is America. The queen can't help you over here, buddy. Uh, you better know where you're at, tough guy. Uh, James and Richard and Thorne, thank, you, know you, guys, thank you guys very much. And, uh, yeah, I guess it was just a little friendly, you know, back and forth talk. And uh, it was pretty hilarious to see on... Uh, on you know, national TV, like ESPN Esports on national TV with the NBA stuff and all that kind of stuff. So it's pretty cool to see uh, where the esports community is going and uh, where competitive Call of Duty, CSGO and all that stuff is going. So CSGO, as you guys know, like I just said, is going to be televised on TV after like NBA, uh, like whatever, whenever NBA games are on. I don't even pay attention to NBA. But anyways, that's going to be that. Next up, we have Phase Apex hitting 2 million subscribers on his YouTube channel, his main YouTube channel, and probably his only YouTube channel, and basically, he hit 2 million subscribers. Uh, you know, it's a pretty big, pretty big milestone in the YouTube scene, and, uh, you know, to hit 2 million is just un unbelievable. And last but not least, we have something coming from Phase Banks. Apparently, he got a tattoo. 